so today I have the September Target Beauty Box unboxing to share with you guys and I have such high hopes that this is going to be an amazing box because Target beat Walmart in the summer subscription um, or was it summer or fall? I don't remember. The last box Walmart sent out, um, Target definitely kicked Walmart's butt, like majorly. So I'm really excited to see what's inside of this month's Target box. I have high hopes, although I am kind of nervous because it's feeling a little light, but I hear a lot of stuff moving around, so maybe that's a sign of hope. I don't know. So basically, the Target Beauty Box is a monthly subscription box, um, and it, it runs between $7 and $10 a month. Now, the reason why I said subscription box is because it's not a subscription box like Walmart is um or ipsy so basically the way the target beauty boxes work is it's just like any other product that you would buy off of target basically target has x amount of boxes every month and then between the first and the fifth of every month they upload the that month's beauty box you have to buy it before it sells out so every single month you have to go in and you have to go and purchase the box Whereas with other subscription boxes, um, you just give them your credit card information one and done until you cancel. This, you literally buy every month and then next, the following month, you don't have to worry about being charged for the subscription box again. There's another thing too with Target where some people really like it, some people don't. I'm on the side where I understand why people like it. I'm not a huge fan of it. So basically, like I said, their beauty boxes are just like any other product that you would find on the Target website. So when you go to purchase the beauty box of the month, they have the beauty box laid out as well as all of the products that they're sending out in each box. I already know what's inside of this box, but the trick is, is I don't remember what's inside of this box. Um, And I really try not to pay attention. I literally will just like search to see if the box is live yet. And once it is, I will go and I will check out like as soon because they sell it really, really quickly. Um, And I really don't try and pay too much attention to what's inside the box because I want to be surprised just like I am with any other subscription. So with all of that chit chat away, um, we can open up the box. I don't know if I showed you guys the cute cover. And then the month's theme is Hello Quench and Glow. Also, with every purchase of the Target subscription box, you get a $3 off coupon for per beauty purchases over $15 in Target. So here we go. I'm kind of nervous because it's feeling a little light. Okay, I'm kind of sad now. This is the inside of my box. It is nothing but masks. Okay, Target, why are you pulling a Walmart? Okay, you know, but before I get too mad, maybe there's something truly in val of value in here. Um, but I don't think so because it looks like it's all just masks. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five masks. If we put them at a dollar a piece, that's five dollars. Um, and I paid seven dollars and a couple of cents for the box for like shipping, not shipping, for tax. Um, so... Even then, you can't tell. I would never pay $2 or like that, anything like that for a mask. Like I will buy like two for a dollar, but I'm not going to pay $2 for one mask. So I already feel very sad and disappointed because we have five items in here. I paid $7 for the box. I already feel like I'm being ripped off. Let's go through and let's see what they sent us. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Deep Smoothing Mask with Marula Oil. Instantly hydrates for smooth, silky, manageable hair. I will be fair, I literally just bought the same one at Walmart and I spent $1.24. So maybe we're at like $5.24 with this mask. I like these masks. I've used them before. They're one of my favorites. I love the keratin masks. They make my hair smooth and like I can run my fingers through it because my hair is so incredibly dry and damaged. Um, it leaves my hair feeling soft and everything and there's so much inside this packet like I know it's a foil packet but there's actually like a really decent amount inside of here this is where the sample like tops off at so I do feel like there's a lot in the sample however looking through I think this is the most expensive foil packet so in total I think the value of this box is going to be like five dollars and 24 cents I paid seven dollars I really don't understand why Target had to do as dirty after the whole Walmart fiasco Walmart did this and we complained about it why is Target now following it in their foot steps i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep reviewing the box but i already know because literally it's so easy to look at like the masks that i am not happy with this box whatsoever and in that i am not somebody who likes masks anyway i really don't like using masks like i literally like i have used like like jar masks recently because i needed to like save my skin but i really don't enjoy wearing piper masks i don't yeah i'm not on that boat like the most often i use this hair mask because that's because i need to because my hair is so damaged the next thing that i'm pulling out is this finland luminae hydration recovery 
oh, um, aerating gel mask for all skin types. So this is a hydration mask um, that we have this much inside of. So there's literally nothing. Like this is not gonna cover my entire face. Like it would as a moisturizer, but not a mask. Um, so there's literally nothing in here. It's very generous for me to even consider this as a, a full dollar value. Um, I would say maybe like 25, 50 cents worth. I've never heard of the brand, so I can't say for sure, but there's literally, this packet is very, very empty. Um, okay, the next thing is this Miss Spa Energize Awaken and Invigorate One Pre-Treated Facial Sheet Mask. Um, results in 20 minutes. I don't know the pricing on these cuts again. I'm not a mask girl. Um, it, this looks like something I've seen at the dollar store. Um, I, okay. One positive thing that I can say so far is this is energized and this is hydrate. So at least they're not sending us like masks that just do the same thing over and over again. At least they're sending us something different. So right here I have a paper sheet mask. Next I have this mask bar rose gold foil peel off mask. Helps to moisturize dry skin. Mask bar rose gold foil peel off mask is enriched with natural fruit extracts to aid in purifying, soothing, and moisturizing skin. One complete mask. Okay, so this is kind of, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of broken up into two. So it says apply thin layer of foil peel off mask onto cleansed skin. Leave on until mask becomes completely dry. So why is there like, I don't know if it's like meant to, it doesn't tear in half, but it, it just feels like there's two different compartments in here, but there's it, there's not everything, kind of, it just kind of feels like there's liquid inside of here. So we have a rose gold foil peel off mask to help moisturize skin, um, which is the same thing that this packet does. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this Acure Welcome to Skin Wellness Brilliantly Brightening Biocellulose Mask. 100% vegan, 0% questionable, niacinamide and kale, all skin types. Brighten your day with this next generation biocellulose gel mask fiber made from fermented coconut. Provides a close contour of the face and evenly distributes the replenishing powers of kale, vitamin B3, stable vitamin C deriv derivative, and nion fruit. So we have sheet mask. Um, and this is brightening, so that's different so we have two sheet masks we have two moisturizing masks and we have a hair mask i got ripped off on this box um this was not worth seven dollars there is no creativity in this box there is no real variety in this box um i mean i would have been fine if they had literally like okay i would not be upset if they were like okay we're gonna take the next five months and we're gonna send everybody out a like a, a mask sample. Like if I had gotten a mask in every single box for the next five months, I, I would probably still complain, but I wouldn't be mad like I am right now. Instead, it's literally they like, they just like, okay, we're not moving enough masks. We're gonna put this in our target box and we're gonna rip everybody off like $2. And I like literally, I know that we didn't get the full values worth inside of this box. So I think Target's playing games. I really wanna know why Target's playing games right after the Walmart fiasco. I want to know what Target's doing. So, what did you guys think of the September Target Beauty Box? Do you guys feel like it was worth the $7? Is it something that you're excited about? Or do you kind of side with me and agree with me? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.